<laughs> yes, indeed. Good afternoon. It is afternoon. Oh, it's three o'clock already. Ooh, <laughs> time. Where does the day go? I should be at home now. We're in a brew. Brew, yeah. Oh, a bit of Battenberg. Oh, lovely. <laughs> Not scones. Oh, scones. Oh, hey. <laughs> and the scones. Bit of Battenberg, mate. <laughs> if you can get it, that is. But well, that's another yeah. story at yeah. the moment. Uh, anyway, uh, it's Sarah and Vicky here. How are we? We I've got a cough lozenge, just so I don't cough during the show. <laughs> but it's all good. Cough it's lozenge. not. <laughs> We're fine, don't worry. She's just it's not little... contagious. <laughs> now, this could be a quick show. Now, no, no kissing. Um, before we go, this is our first time working together, yes, girls. Yeah. Uh, very first time. We've never worked together before. I've been here nearly six months. They kept yeah. us apart all Aww. this time. We may see why at the end of the yeah, show. We've been here nearly five years. Give over. Yeah. October is the fifth. Fifth year. Fifth for us. birthday on October. Yes. So where did it all start? How did we? Because you are sisters. Yes. yes. Um, um, where did it all start? Where did the crafting journey begin? Who wants to tell me? Oh, oh gosh, we were, we were very small. <laughs> okay. We, we used. To, I used to make jewellery. Then we'd make bags. Mum used to make fancy cakes and clothes, and it just kind of spiralled from there. Went to California. Went. Oh, look at all these oh, stamps. California. Yes. <laughs> yes, California. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. But then it, and it just materialised into... Well, that was back in 92. OK. So we'll be 28 this year. So save you doing the maths. Yeah. Was it all 29? Yeah. I forget now. <laughs> yeah, My 28, yeah, I think. <laughs> so 29 years. Is it 29? I think it is 29 mm. years. So it's 29 years of... No, it's 28, isn't it? Well, either or. You've been around. We're not that we, old. No, you're not that be. old. Come on now. <laughs> we were teenagers. Well, I was going to say, you still are, aren't you? But look you up and down in mind. I wouldn't put you past 21 either of you. Oh, thank you. Oh, you see. You can say. <laughs> uh, we'll, be we're together for the hour. A full hour together. Yeah. Uh, we're going to let you set up yeah. for your first demonstration. Okay. And we'll be back with you shortly. Okay. Um, but we're going to go down the counter. Yeah. Brand new stuff today. Brand new. Um, and not just any old no. We're going on. African safari. We are. That's the first one. Oh my word! Now, what you're getting with this? Well, you're getting a, beaut a beautiful quality stamp um, for eleven pounds and ninety nine pence. Zero nine three six five zero is your item number. So, what was the inspiration behind well, the I'm safari? Just saying, most of the stamps in today's show, apart from the giraffes, everything else, they're actually Judikins designs. Okay. Judikins is an American stamp company that we've been working with for over twenty years, oh. and they've agreed that we can manufacture under license as cling mounted rubber stamps. Nice. Because they only do wood mounted stamps. So they only do wood. So now this mm -hmm. is the first time you can get these in, in cling the world. mounting. Yes. What a world yes, exclusive. It is, well, yeah. you, you kept that for two <laughs> minutes in, didn't you? Oh, I didn't know. A world look. If I knew that, I would have worn a sparkly shirt. <laughs> world <laughs> exclusive on the stamps is what we're talking about now. Uh, so We've got beautiful designs, things like, there are loads back here, I will get through all of them during the hour, do not worry. So we've got um, like this, but how do we get them like this? Do we cut these down? Do we leave them as they are? We would cut them into separate images. So you've got, I think, three images in that set. Or was it four? four no, images. there's four images. Sorry, some are three, some are four. That's fine, so this one is um, four. And you cut them as close to the design as you can. So around... The, the, the curves and into the bits where there's nothing there. Okay. Because it makes it easier to line it up when you're stamping. Ah, so if you okay. can see where all the gaps are. Look, it's the details though that you're getting in here. The detail is beautiful. Look at that. And then once you have cut them all up, you can start well, you can go, you can go all out. That's it, yeah. I mean, with this one, it's you create your background first. So you're using your inks or your sprays. You're distressing it. You can you, acrylic paints, and then stamping the images on top in black. I love it. So it's it. very simple. Absolutely love it because you you've got a, approach. Oh, well, I missed the first one. I was meant to tell you 10% is already gone, but now it's all we're approaching 20%. 20% of our first diet has already gone here. 11 pounds and 99 pence. 093650 is your item number. Right then, up next, maybe you want to create a little border. Maybe you want to put just a little feature on the side of your card. As you can see here, we've got the beautiful uh, zebra print that we've got. Now, you are getting both of the stamps that are in here as well. So we've got zebra and is it giraffe? giraffe yes. Well, I mean, you could make it cheaterish, cheater -ish. depending on the colours that you use and what you put it on. But At a push. It's an animal print. Well, you could go cow. Yes. If you, you go could. black and white, you could go dairy cow. Yes, yeah. 
Yeah, it wasn't like a Jersey kind of a, yeah. Oh, I don't know me cows. I no. just saw black and white cows. That's all I know. <laughs> They're just black and white. But uh, you can go to town. Let me show you the stamps that you're getting here as well. Uh, these are, it's one of these things. These are one of those stamps I find that when you see that blank space, yes. you think, oh, what do I put there? Yes. This is the one you'd reach for. Exactly. This is the one. So as you see in the samples, it kind of almost extends the giraffe, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. He's, he's peeking out from behind the banner, but you could use that. That's the giraffe standing above him. But then you haven't got to use them as panels if you don't want to. For the sheer fact, you've used yeah. it as a background in this that's one. That's it. Yeah, you just keep stamping it repeatedly because it's easy to line up because it's nice and straight. It's, it's, always, <laughs> it's always a good thing. So would you, again, would you cut this one down or would you leave it as two and distinct one side? We always cut them down Okay. and use them separately, use them individually. That one, ink it, spritz the stamp before you stamp it. Then you get the blend of the colours, you get a little bit more smooshy. I like this. You could use it as a little cobbled pad. Yes, you could. If you've got a little cottage stamp. So many stamp. different things. There really, really is. And that's what I like about stamps. See them for what they are, first of all. And then, then what also else they can be. And what else they yeah. can be. Because otherwise you think, well, I can only use that for leopard print. I can only use that for a little zebra. And not every day you might want to do a zebra. But if you can use them for other things, you're going to get that value for money in there. Once again, £11.99, 363-503 is your item number. Brand new today. There's a lot of brand news today. Uh, up next, we've got giraffe. Um, I'm going to go straight in. 10% of this is already gone. You are shopping ahead on the website. You're getting both of these for £13.98. Yes. So basically, you've got three giraffes. Well, <laughs> you've got I a close-up of Gabby. Oh. And then the whole of Gabby with her calf. Gabby, giraffe and calf. So you've got <laughs> Gabby. There's Gabby on her own. You see the eyelashes. Oh, yeah. The <laughs> eyelashes give it away. And then you've literally got... Uh, Gabby and a calf there as well, but on the, as you just put, it's a beautiful image just on its own. Yes, that's it, and, and it's just kind of, hello, what are you doing? Right. How are you? And that's what, <laughs> that, little, that little nudge yeah. to the side. Should you be doing that? Just checking that? up on you, oh yeah, <laughs> just checking. <laughs> but then, if you go to town... You can have a whole herd. Is it a herd of giraffes? No idea. Oh, okay. But it sounded good. You sounded confident. <laughs> it sounded good. Um, you've got a whole whole plethora of giraffes plethora. that you've got going on. I love that word, plethora. It's plethora. <laughs> well, this could be our last show together. <laughs> so, um, it's called a tower of giraffes. A tower? A tower of giraffes. Are they standing on each other? We could be giving piggybacks if, yeah. if, if the legs are aching, I suppose. <laughs> uh, you can all use three together as well. Oh, I think it's going to be one of these hours. Uh, three giraffes is what you're getting in there. Uh, so you're getting Med and you're getting uh, Gabby on her own. And then you get her with a calf as well, which are absolutely beautiful designs. And there's so much. We're nearly at 20% of these has already gone as well. Uh, we're very busy across the board and I've only shown you three sets of stamps so far. Uh, I've got more to go. I'd say something else, but I say it wrong. <laughs> uh, but I can always correct you, it's fine. Oh, no, it's fine, it's good to I'm be happy corrected. That, yeah. <laughs> yes, well, if you don't, they do it out there for you. Exactly. So yeah. You might as well tell me direct. <laughs> then you know um, for next time. <laughs> up next, now these are something you don't see every day. Well, it depends what you've got on the wall at home, really. Well, I just got pictures of me and the little one. and Kim's got them on the wall. Well, ah, Kim, well, she's. Posh? She's eyebrow. <laughs> oh, ah, Kim. Oh, she has, she has everything. So Klimt is highbrow, is it? Well, in our house it would be. Okay. I just have a doodle from the little one. That's quite, I'm quite happy with that. <laughs> so what, where is this, where is it from? What is it? Gustav Klimt. Yes. Is, is the artist. Who is he? Where, what's he do? What does he do? Well, he doesn't do anything anymore. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how long ago it was, but it was quite some time ago. Um, and he's renowned for his artwork with gold in. Oh. He, he liked to paint with gold, and usually ladies. <laughs> um, we've got a sample, and I was I'm going to let you into this. I'm going to tell you anyway. Uh, so, there is an amazing sample on it. Now, you may have and seen I it. I said, on, don't touch it. <laughs> you may have seen it on social media. I, this is where I saw this show on social media earlier in the week. And the first thing I do, as a person, we come in and we have, we have a fiddle. It's what we do. We touch everything. I don't know why, it's just what we do. Um, and then I, I, was, I, was, I was hand slapped and said, you dare touch that when we're on air. I did not say that. I will touch this I one. I said, don't. I don't say you dare. I said, you don't. I've got one that I can touch. <laughs> I'm allowed to touch this one. <laughs> but I'm not allowed 
to touch this one. <laughs> it's it's delicate. <laughs> Look at that. I like that. I though. didn't want him to ruin it. <laughs> what are you trying to say? <laughs> I've never met you before. <laughs> You're in safe hands. These hands are our babies. Oh, these we're in. And we're the in. babies are alive. <laughs> Just checking. She's digging. Now you're hanging <laughs> yourself. <laughs> Eleven pounds and ninety-nine pence. You are getting three stamps again. Let me show the details on the stamps that you are getting here. Oh, I love you, pair already. You can come again. <laughs> uh, Eleven pounds and ninety-nine pence. Five two four six four eight is your item number for your stamps. Remember, you can cut them down. You can leave them in the hole and use them as a border if you want to as well. It's entirely up to you. Um, I just want to show you in shrink plastic. Sorry to be a pain. Gold and silver shrink plastic. Gold and silver shrink plastic. Uh, the details for these are now at the bottom of the screen. Beautiful. Right then, we're moving on. We're moving on. <laughs> um, borders now. Frames. Borders Sorry. and frames. Yes. Well, you see, depending on what you use them for, and then this is the wonderful world of crafting. You can use them for so many things. Maybe you're only making small cards. Maybe you're just making invitations or save the dates. You only need a small border or frame. If you're going to do a large card and you want to frame something that's on your card itself, like you can see in the beautiful sample, this is where you'd go as well. You can go from the most ornate to sort of the postage stamp look if you wanted to. And they are jolly large. <laughs> they fit the twinches. The twinches fit inside, <gasps> so the, the aperture inside is slightly over two inches. We've got twinches, we'll be coming to them in a minute. <laughs> Another exciting name I can't wait for. Uh, <laughs> so we've got the twinches that are already on the show as well, so they will fit... Inside. Inside. So you still see the whole frame because they fit inside the inner line. Oh, I'm loving it already. But then you can just use them on your cards. Look at that for a background. Oh, Debbie's done well. It's a lovely bit of paper, isn't it? It is a yeah. lovely bit of paper. I don't know if she made it or if it's a printed paper. And then, a little bit of a, a decoupage that's there. Um, where's the gold one? Oh, bit of oh, bit of embossing. Amazing glaze on the twinchy. Oh. Oh, <laughs> it is. On a, it's raised up, look. Vicky's going to show you how to do that. Always at our first demo. Uh, but then you can also use them as a beautiful frame as well. Uh, look how stunning that is as a card front or in a box frame. You know I love a box frame. Uh, moving on, last but no means least. Oh, there's got three things. English garden in an English creek garden. Got to number five in the charts. We learned this last night. <laughs> Matt Gary, he emailed in. He did. I can't remember the artist now, but up to number five in the charts. 1980, 1987, I think. Uh, you're getting um, three stamps in this one this time. But once again, enough to make a complete scene. Definitely enough, yeah. I would say the images are based on things seen in Kew Gardens. Oh. So it is a very English garden. Kew Gardens. Yeah. So um, again, it's still Judikins, because we said we want something along these lines, so then they designed it for us. Oh, nice. So it's designed. Yeah. Another world exclusive? Well, you can get it on wood through Judikins, but... Not in Mount. No, not Kling Mount. Only here, yeah. Eh? <laughs> and then you can create the beautiful cards. If you're watching the shows from yesterday, um, you bought the frame set from there, the die frames, you can now create the frames well and make your English country gardens as well. Uh, very, very busy across the board. Jump to the website, shop ahead. It's the quickest and the easiest thing to do as well. Uh, everything is on there. Um, remember also when you're on the website, about a half hour after the show, you can watch the shows back for any of the hints and techniques. So do not fear if you miss out and go, oh, what did they do? What did they do? Do not worry, you can watch it all back at the end of the hour as well. But please do shop ahead. Uh, I'm very intrigued by the art masking tape as well. Very intrigued by this. Uh, and we've also got amazing glaze on the show as well, which I'm sure we will see through the course of the hour. Right then, we've meandered down to the demonstration area. Here we are. Uh, what are we up to first? Oh, I've got a twinchy. Well, so a twinch? my two inch square, yeah. So I'm just going to start with adding some colour. I'm just what, using a distressing. What's the twinchy made out of? Um, Is it's it just like card? Like card, yeah. Just card? Card, oh. yeah. You get an awful lot of them as well. You get 96 squares in total. Uh, they all just pop out. I'm not going to pop them out. Um, but they all come, so you, can, you get four sheets in total. What I also like as well, you also get the borders. You could use the border for another project if you wanted to. Certainly can. And I've actually got a little piece of the border here to help me as a tool as well. Oh, okay. So yeah, don't be quick to throw those bits away. You can use those. So, I'm just creating a bit of a background colour, sort of a sunset colour here. If you're new to the world of craft, 
Mm -hmm. These are the perfect size, really, to start with, rather than going for your large card straight away. They are, yes. It's not too scary, a nice little two-inch piece of card, isn't it? And if you've only got a few colours, you see, you can really go to town with those. You've got 96 little cards to play with. So if you just want to check out your stamps, um, see how they stamp first of all, this is a perfect way to go for these. 96 in total, £11.99. 577279 is your item number. I'm just going to... No, I would dry that. Have know you got no? Me. Oh, there we go. There we got go. Some power. Turn it on. <laughs> Always helpful. Oh, let's give that a little dry. Okay, now I'm bringing in my hinged stampy thing that I use. And I tuck this corner into the corner of my board and then use the magnets to hold it in place. Oh, I like this. Because you can't use the magnets on top of it and you don't want the piece too squashed in the corner. So I've got my stamp. This is what mine look like trimmed down. I trim fairly close to the designs on there. We've got minute cues on the phones as well. The phone lines are very, very busy at the moment. The quickest and easiest way is chat, uh, tap the app or jump to the website. I'm sorry about keep chipping in. I do That's apologize. all right. So now you can see where I'm putting the stamp. Because of the, the, the ink twinchy is um, a little bit thicker than paper, you don't want to be your stamp too close to the Makes edge. Sense. So that's why I use that little bit of border to give a bit of space. You get a more even stamping that way. And you've taken your foam mat out of your stamping platform. Yes, because our stamps are all mounted on cling, you don't need that don't one. Need so yeah, that's more for your uh, clear stamps, that is. Oh, oh that's come out that. nicely, hasn't it? There we go. I can take that one out. Oh my word. Just pop that one back on there for later. So I'm just going to heat set the black ink there so I don't smudge that. And that was one stamp. You never, you didn't go back in. It no, I didn't need to. Close to. the lid. Yeah, sometimes you need twice just to make sure the zebras are a nice black colour. Yeah. But that one covered nicely for me. But don't worry if you've got to do it twice. That's why you've got these for. Now, what I'm going to do is I've got... For the safari stamps, I will be quiet in a minute, I can only apologise, but I just need to say a third of the stock has already gone. I really don't want you to miss out on these. A third of the stock now has already gone on our safari stamps. The details are currently on the screen. 093650 is your item number. £11.99. And you're right. getting all four. So this is my clear embossing ink. Okay. Mine's a bit dirty because sometimes you get a bit of ink spreading. So don't use your brand new fresh one. <gasps> and this is my amazing glaze. You get two pots of this um, currently on the show. We'll bring up the details. £15.98. Uh, 891309 is your item number. I'm very intrigued about So you this. can see there's quite a chunky powder and there's big lumps in there. Not, it's, it's no good for embossing fine detailed or line stamps. It's okay. designed for surfaces. So let's pull back in. Do you want me to keep no, 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 I'm keeping it in oh, the pot okay. for a... Yes, yeah, so oh. I'm going to show you. I'm going to add another layer. <gasps> and this is the easiest way that I like to do it. You don't have to do it this way in case it gets a bit hot. There we go. You can see that melting now. Oh, look at that glaze. So it's kind of got a bit of an orange peel effect. A bit dimply at the moment. It's not smooth. So I'm going to add a second layer. So... Well, that's all melted. What I'm going to do is quickly and carefully is pick that up, pop that face down into the powder. So because it's hot, the powder sticks in there. Oh. So now we can heat that again. Now, if you find that too hot, don't worry. Just let it cool down. Re-ink, re-powder. Yeah, that's fine to do that. Oh, my word. Look, it's like a glazed tile. It will do, that's the idea. That's amazing. Amazing glaze, <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, it's like, it's like you've just thrown this show together, isn't it? Like, <laughs> I like, you see? This is what happens when you don't come into prep before a show. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to go for a third layer on that one because it's a little bit bumpy still. So it's a bit like, if I get this right, a cabochon? You know the glass enamels that you put over your... Mm -hmm. um, you, uh, you know the little, you get little metals, and then you put your, your little bit glass dome over, yeah. as it were. That's it. So this is a third time now it's been dipped. Yeah, sometimes two's enough. Sometimes you need a third. Depends so on what's how the finish? That is it horses for courses? Like depending on how you want it to be finished, or is there a? Is it the more you do it, the more raised it will get? 
No, if you put too much on, it will just run off the edges. Okay. I'm just looking for a nice smooth surface. Good to know. No dimples in there. There we go. This um, heat gun's slower than a lot of them, so it does, you know, you might find your heat gun's a bit fiercer and it'll do this a bit quicker. There we go. It's the last little bit there. Oh, look at that, though. There we go. So we just need to leave that to cool. Don't touch it in the middle. OK. If you want to know if it's set, just touch the edges first because the middle will stay hotter and it will stick to your finger. It'll be a little bit sore. <laughs> so we're just going to pop that aside. Put that over there. There we go. So I'm going to create my card. I like that. If you wanted to sprinkle that. something in it while it was still... Could you sprinkle like your glitters and your... You can while it's hot, yes. And they will just sort of melt into melt it and move well. around. They will indeed, yes. So I've cut a little strip of card here and scored. I'm going to create a little wrap around okay. on my card. I'm working on a black card this time. I'm just going to pop that in here. And... Oh, I have somewhere. It says hidden my... It's all these little hints and tips though, that you sort of need to know so you, know, so you get the best of your projects. Uh, the details on the screen at the moment is for the amazing glaze. You've just seen us use that. Uh, £15.98. 891309 is your item numbers. Uh, we're now using the borders. Yeah, so I've got the zebra border. I've got it right this time. Keep getting them muddled up. <laughs> oh. So as you can see, again, we do trim ours down a little bit closer on those. Is it closer the better? I find it's closer the better, but you know, some, everyone's different. I just like to cut mine really close. There we go. Let's just give that another inking. Quite often with these solid sort of designs, you need a couple of stampings. There we go. That's Look it. Look at that. Just pull that one out there, set that aside for a second, and then I've got my crease card. Details on the screen at the moment are for the animal print cling mounted rubber stamps. So these are the. Uh, how much, sorry? 20%? We're flying through here. 20% of the stock has now gone as well. There's, there's queues on the phones and a lot of you are sitting in baskets as well. Uh, don't let me poke your prodigy in ways. You don't want to be poked and prodded. That's not what I'm here for. I'm here to get you the best possible deal. But I don't want you to miss out on these deals either. We're already 20% of the stock uh, gone on some of the products. Um, and it's going we're very, very busy across the board. Okay, so I've used an anti-static bag because I'm going to emboss you with white powder here. Okay. So hopefully I only get the powder where I want it. We'll bring up the details for postage frames. Remember, you get two of these. So, yeah, I did decide to cut out the middle of my frame so I didn't get any excess ink in the middle of that. So that's a personal choice if you want to do that or not. There's a little bit more ink in there. Not everyone realises you can emboss with these folders. You just give it a couple of inks so you can see. You can see the design really nicely on there. And put that aside and put my white embossing powder on there. They're all admiring your little tray. They should be on the, I think they come with um, some embossing powders, should be on the website. Oh, we'll have a little look. Tiny trays. Tiny, tiny trays? Tiny, tiny trays you're yeah. looking for? Tiny Kim? trays, they come in a set of three. Oh, we'll have we'll having a little look now. Yeah, oh, they unfold, they have just little clips, so they usually unfold. <laughs> They're not on this show, but they are on the website. So it's not cooled down. <gasps> not stuck. Yeah, that's fine. There you can feel that now. How shiny it is. Look at that. Oh, my word. If... If it was me, once again, <laughs> all for courses entirely up to you, depending on budgets, everyone's budget is different. Um, I would be going for that amazing glaze, first off, 
because imagine all the stamps you've got at home, all the dyes that you've got at home, all those flowers that you can now make, like the rain dew that's on them as well. Uh, I would also be going for the set of the safari stamps, one with the zebras on the ones we're currently using at the moment as well. Um, is what I, that, that, that is just me. And I'd also be going for the, these the fridges. I'd go for the, as, an, as a new crafter, which I am, you know me, I try, I dabble, but it's quite hard with the three year olds to dabble because they take all the good stuff and you're just left with what's left. Um, it's good because then you just, you just need little bits. So you haven't got to try all your techniques on a large bit of paper because sometimes you can get white paper syndrome. Oh, yes. And you don't know what Too you much white paper, Too yes. White paper syndrome, it's Kim, scary. you never heard of it. <laughs> oh, you get wet white paper and you go, I don't know what to do with this. And you do a little do and you think, mm. Scrapbooking's 12 by 12, that is the scariest thing. Yeah, what do you do with Have to start with a late by eight page. <laughs> or even these, you see, yep. start with these, build Two them inches. up and build your big tiles. There we go. So you can see there that fits perfectly within that square. There oh, we look go. at that. Should we turn that round so you oh, can see? Oh, my word. There we go. How quick and easy, but you're now talking... You're not talking bottom shelf level of cards here. No. We're now talking <laughs> high class, them high shelves. Um, is there an angel polish on these? Angel policy, Sarah, is... As long as they're handmade. As long as they're all handmade. As long... Yep. Boss is down there, she's watching. <laughs> <laughs> she remembers um, all this stuff, I don't. Uh, is that for... Is that across everything? Yes. Across everything. So yes. long as it's handmade, mm -hmm. um, don't just stamp them out and tell them, you ain't allowed to do that, and you know you're not allowed to do that. But if you are making finished samples, you can now make to sell, which is amazing. For £11.99, if you're making to sell, uh, you can now start... Uh, well, you'll get your money back quite easily. With cards like this, they do look amazing. Uh, 11.99, you are getting four stamps is what you're getting. And we're approaching half the stock now, has already gone here as well. So we're approaching half the stock. Uh, we're very busy, 11.99093650 is your item number. Uh, our Gabby the Giraffe, we're very busy. Also approaching 50% of the stock here has also gone as well. £13.98, 6880.34 is your item number. Uh, we're going to remind you about the twinches as well. It's sort of my little pick for the show. I'm going to have these as my own. Uh, the little twinches that we've got on the show, 96 uh, squares in total is what you're getting. You're getting four sheets. And remember, though, not only get the sheets, you also get the border. Don't throw them away, man. 40% of the stock here has already gone. 577279 is your item number for your twinches. Right then, we're staying at demo. Oh, halfway through already. Where's the time go? Oh, had a what are we creating oh, we this go. time? This is what I was looking for. Oh, this is the masking tape. No, this is the masking tape. Do you want to feel? Oh, it's not very... What do we do with this? So, it's, it's low-tack paper. So, what um, I'm going to do is... Let's if you've never used it, it's very low tack as well. There's like there's hardly anything on it. So I think I'm intrigued. Let's squeeze that one on there. Yep. Okay. So I'm going to stamp the frame on there. Then what I would do is cut that very carefully around. Are we making masks? Yes. So it's low and tack, so that you can reuse it, and it's not going to damage your card. So you, the idea with the mask, you have to remember, is to cut on the stamped line or just within it so that you don't get an um, edge, a halo effect around it. So 10 metres for 19.99. It's a lot. It's going to last but, you ages. But normally as a mask, you have to find them bits of tape and things there. You could go stamps that are, well, mm. massive at yeah. this rate. Yeah, really big stamps you could do with these, yeah. Wow, so background stamps we're now talking. Could you use this in home decor? Yes, you could. Would it stick to the wall and stuff if you're going to yes. do? Yeah, it should do, yeah, as long as it's uh, fairly smooth, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I use mine over and over. I keep mine with the stamp and use it until it completely loses its stickiness. And then? Which, if you get um, sort of glitter stuck to it, obviously it loses sticky a bit quicker. But if you take care of them, yeah, you save cutting them out every time. There you go. Uh, the masking tape along the bottom now, 10 metres for 19.99. I think I'd have that as a little pick of the show as well. Uh, 006723, though, is the item number for your frames. I know I say this like I've got thousands and thousands of pounds. Oof. I never had it to start with. <laughs> they said not go. anymore in my hour, I've never <laughs> had it. So that's the first one. I'm just going to heat set that. Don't want to smudge it. 
Okay, so I'm going to pop the mask on. So you should see, you can just about see the black line that I've stamped oh, around the edge of the mask. Yes. That way we don't get a little gap between the next stamping. So, staying with the postage stamp, so this one will look like it's behind. Let's have this a little angle. Oops. There. And then we'll go on the other side. I like these. These make nice little easel cards. Yes, good. Dry. I don't know if they will. I just learn these names and throw them in every now and then <laughs> see if people to see if they will. <laughs> that would be dry. <laughs> so I've got my English country garden. We'll bring up the details here. of your English country garden. Got to number five in the charts. I think I remember that one as well. So I've left the mask on the middle, so I'm going to start with stamping the edge images oh, so they don't go me. into the the middle one so i'll show you <coughs> so that's there so let me just show you if we pull this back oh, it's only in that section that. okay so i'm going to pop that back on there we can do the other side. I know they were designed for this, but they do fit perfectly in the centre of these frames. They do, yes. <laughs> and there's none of that that you have to line up or you have like, will it fit, will it fit? You know it's going to fit every single time. You haven't got to worry. You can go in, you can go in with confidence, as yes, it were. Yes, certainly can with these ones. They're designed to go within them. Okay, so that's that one there. And then we can do our middle image going to go with the flowers in there. I love this look. So it doesn't have to be just one sort of two inch little image in the middle. This is how you can make them more of a large card with them. I suppose you could go to town though and do more than three if you wanted to just make more masks. Oh certainly yes you could carry on and do lots of them. So I'm just going to heat set so I don't smudge anything else. Um, so for this, I'm going to colour with some um, polycolour pencils. I need okay. my glasses so I can see this now, these little images. So they're nice vibrant colours and they're not water-based so they don't tend to move the colours. Oh, Are you a neat crafter? You look a neat crafter. Do you mean as in around? Yeah, no, like not at all. Not at all? No. Oh, you surprised the me. The last two days Sarah keeps going, do you know where the phone tape is? And I'm, oh, yeah, it's under there and there. there. And everything's around me, tucked under each other. I know roughly where it is. <laughs> Organised chaos. That's the how I way. work. Yes. Oh, this is a nice, peaceful bit. I do like colouring. Do you work in the same craft room? Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Yes. Well, it's one big room. It's, uh, we use it for classes and everything. These are quite nice as well because they're, even though you've got so much detail in there, mm -hmm. they're quite easy to colour in. They are, and we've got several samples behind that are stamped with, <gasps> um, they're stamped with water-based inks, and then we just use a water brush to move the ink around. <gasps> Every time. That's an original piece of art. It is. It's a Carol original. Oh, thought you don't have to put that pressure on me. <laughs> These are originals. <laughs> I'm on edge here during this show. <laughs> I've got a dicky ticker as it is. One false move, I could be down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've got all red, I'm, I'm sweating. Are these really originals? No, they're not. <laughs> oh, she's lying to me now. <laughs> they're all stamped. Oh, sorry, if I move. They're nice, though. So what we're saying is that they're longer with us. Ah. Oh. They're less stamped and then painted. These are beautiful. I like the look of these. She did like the watercolours. Yeah, she did like the watercolourings, yeah. Spe uh, especially this one, the one on the end, that is, I know you're not meant to have favourites at all, but <laughs> look at that. 
And is that two of the same stamp put together? Yes. It is, yes. Mm. I like this. Oh, so you can do continuous then if you wanted to. Yes, yeah, like the, um, the, the, the diorama frame, that one's, um, the flower was a continuous at the front as well. <gasps> oh, yeah, you've got lots more there, yeah. Sarah's passed me in. <laughs> you didn't say this. You didn't say <laughs> you didn't say this was boring, so I didn't get any samples. <laughs> that was my cue. We were I'm waiting. I'm colouring. I was enjoying well, myself. Sorry. I don't move. I'm on the edge. <laughs> uh, so there's so much to do. Uh, we are going to go through um, everything again. And we'll have a look at this finished sample when we get back. Do not fear, because we've got another two demos to get in as well. Uh, everything is very, very busy. Uh, the masking tape, you're loving the masking tape as well. Uh, we're very busy on these, is what we are now. Uh, 888 209 is your item number for your masking tape. 19 pounds and 99 pence uh, is what we're looking at now. 10 meters is what you are actually getting. Uh, we're also going to show you the amazing glaze as well that we've also got on the show. Um, this is this is one of them that you need to start picking up. It, it literally your little little cabochons you can start creating. Fifteen pounds and ninety eight pence is what we're looking at. Eight nine one three zero nine is your item number. Africa, we're going to be quick here because I've got another two demos and I really do want to get them in and I know we're short of time. Uh, Af African Safari is what we're looking at now. £11.99. 093650 is your item number. You're getting four stamps in total is what you are getting. And 60% of the stock now has already gone here. Uh, for £11.99, it's amazing. You can cut them down into individual stamps if you want to or just use them as a border. It's entirely up to you, but it's well worth having a little look at them. They are lovely. Uh, up next though we've also got your borders on the show as well. Uh, you've also got your giraffe and you've also got your leopard print. Um, no, it's not gir yeah, giraffe and zebra is what you've got, uh, which means you can start creating just little subtle hints of a uh, giraffe there. Look at that. So that's the zebra printed in different colours, which is beautiful with a giraffe, you know. It's nice, I like it, it's a safari. Um, up next, so we've also, that's the stamp there, I better do the details, 11 pounds and 99 pence. 363503 is your item number. Uh, Gabby the giraffe is up next, so you get Gabby on her own. And then you also get Gabby and the calf as well. Oh, <laughs> they've done this on purpose, like twined it around. Uh, lollipop sticks. I like it, look at that. And that, is the stamp from the first set of stamp sets that we saw as well. And uh, with all the trees that are in the background as well. Absolutely beautiful is what you're getting here. Um, and the details are currently on the screen for you. Uh, 688034 is your item number, 13 pounds and 98 pence. And then, well, something different we've got here as well. Um, they are, I like these because they are different. You can do so much with them. You change the colour, they'll look so different. I just want to show you some of the samples that we've got here as well, as well as the stamps that you're getting. So you can actually see what you can do with them. Look at that, but you can go from that to that. And it's the same stamp that you're seeing. You can also go them on shrink plastic as well, if you wanted to as well. Uh, split them up and put them in a circles. We can also... I'm loving these, there's so many here. Uh, we're going to have a look at these in, de in more detail in demonstration. Well, I've not even shown you this. Better show you the Harcordian. Look at that. Oh, with your English country garden in there as well. It's nice, nice little giftable. Uh, £11.99, 524648 is your item number. Uh, frames are up next as well. You're getting both frames that you've seen. Uh, we've just seen these used in the first demonstration. Um, they're nice frames is what they are for the sheer fact that you can do so much with them. It adds a finesse to your card that you wouldn't normally have that would normally just be an aperture. Well, now you can change the aperture into whatever you want it to be. There's also a freedom price on the frames as well. Um, I just like thinking cards like this. Look at that. Absolutely stunning. Um, I like these. These will be put in my set as well. £15.98 is what you're looking at. 066723 is your item number. Last but no means least, English Country Garden. Now this is 
Well, you could do, you could do so much with this as well. There's the diorama that we saw um, yesterday's show. Maybe you got the set from yesterday's show. These would work perfectly with yesterday's show as well. Then you've got things like a little post-it holder. Our Alex would love this. Oh, what Alex don't do with a post-it note. Not worth knowing. Um, it, very busy on these. £11.99, 350044 is your item number. Shop by brand is the quickest and the easiest place to go. You can do that on the website as well. Um, you go to shop by brand, then you pop in the name of who you're looking for. So you're looking for S for stamp. Uh, then scroll your way down. Keep scrolling down. Here we go and we'll keep scrolling. Keep scrolling. Keep. There we go, look. And then... Uh, you've got everything that's on the show. Everything on the show and much more as well. There's so much on the website for you. Uh, look at those beautiful roses and background stamps that you've got in there. Oh, I like that background. That was new last time. Oh, I'm that's liking the vintage it's lace. Ones. You can't see all the detail in it from here. But when you look close up, it's got all the teeny tiny lines from the lace. It's beautiful. Have a little look. Shop ahead. It's worth doing. It's worth doing. Right, and what are we up to, my love? Well, Vicky finished. Oh, that was quick. So she had, she did a reverse mask of the postage frame. So she masked the outside to ink the inside. Oh, look at that. Do you understand that? Yes, I understand. Okay, well, you didn't you. say oh, no, I, was, I was just admiring the card <laughs> from in real life rather than through the telly. I like that. Oh, good. Okay. Did you all colour that in while I was walking down the counter? Yeah. Oh, that's good. I was quick colouring. <laughs> I like it. It was Both blue hands. Peter style. Ah. <laughs> Right then, twinches. Anyway, twinches, okay, so blank twinchy, dirty clear ink pad, cover it with ink. Yeah, nicely covered. Amazing glaze. So, oops, <laughs> chuck it in there. <laughs> just throw it in. Yeah, that. just chuck it in. So, nice. Ooh. We'll bring the amazing glaze in at the bottom of the screen. So we're gonna keep that in the tray so we can go back like Vicky did with the other one. So I'm going to build up, but this time I'm going to show you a slightly different technique. Oh, okay. Because we're going to stamp into the glaze after we've added some colour. So we do three layers of the clear first, and then we add some colour, embossing powder. Ooh, oh, here we so go. So any colour you fancy, but I'm using Klimt, so I'm going to go with gold. Okay. Because that's his signature colour. Gold is his colour? Yes. I think he used real gold Did in I? his paintings. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> He's very good at this. He's very good. I believe I'm everything you I say. <laughs> everything. Have they not looked him up yet? They're doing it as we speak. Uh. I hear the keyboard going. <laughs> so they can correct gold me. Gold leaf. I think he was Austrian. Are you just plucking countries now? No. Was I... he Austrian, Kim? Yes, he was Austrian. <laughs> It's been a long time. He was from Burnley. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> he was right. So, pop that in there. To get second. We've had a lovely email from our Steve. Oh, Steve. Steve oh. Oh, Hi, Steve. -o. Steve -o. How are you? He remembers watching your first show. Our first TV show or our first Hachanda show? Hachanda show. It was in black and white. Was it? Uh, he loves the new stamps <laughs> and the demos as well. Keep it up, never change. <laughs> I added that bit at the end, never change. <laughs> that weren't in the email. <laughs> Thank you, Steve. -o. So you can see it's getting nice and smooth. But with this one, I'm doing at least three layers because I want the depth. So the stamps go the, in. Yes, so you get a good impression when it goes in there. So. Is this your only show today, or do you have another one? Just today. Oh. Yeah, we just do one hour a month. Then they're gone. Then We're a very small operation. If you listen quite, the car is already started. <laughs> Their <it's> chauffeur <laughs> is sitting there. Chauffeur? Oh. I saw him on the way in. Don't make it happy, you don't. <laughs> I know what you're like. Oh, <laughs> you got was, my number. Yes, yeah, so I've got your card marked. <laughs> he was sitting there, little Pete Cap. Oh, PCAP. Little cap yeah, mm. Registration plate, ST1, ADD. No, unfortunately not. But yeah. <laughs> it's no. not available, I'm going to ask. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're in my little sports car. 
Oh, just a little sports car. Yeah, well, the kids are There's me now. and a Robin Reliant. Well, you know, when you've got young kids, you have to... <laughs> little Robin Reliant, wheel on the back, just in case. <laughs> Foot pump. You know you can push them over. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get home tonight, 11 o'clock, and Carl will be on the truth. Yeah, it's quite, easy. <laughs> oh, it's quite easy. It's quite Oh, you've done this before, I feel. Yeah. <laughs> Miss spent you. Oh, oh yeah. Speed bumps, it was... Oh. No, I had a friend that had one when I was a teenager. <laughs> what, you used to tip because... it up? No, not on purpose. But it's easy to tip it round corners. Because you only need a motorbike licence to drive one. <laughs> They're telling me I've got to stop talking about it now. <laughs> okay, so this time I'm going with gold embossing oh. powder. And when you put the colour on, I would recommend two layers, just so we don't see too much clear when we stamp into it. So let's put a bit more in there. And you'll so now you'll see it melt easier. You'll see the gold go liquid. I have a foreign body in there, but <laughs> it'll disappear. So how long have you been crafting? Well... Is it something you've always been into? We've always made things. Yeah. It's not necessarily paper crafting. I mean, I started with jewellery. That was my thing. And Mum started with the stamping. OK. And we used to do... She started the stamping because I used to drag her along to the little craft fairs when I was selling my jewellery. And she got bored. So she started making cards to sell. And it just kind of snowballed from there. And it went from there. Yeah, it did. As I say, back in 92, so a long time ago. I don't know why I'm whispering. I don't know why you're whispering either, but I like it. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> I just need the second of that. We'll pop that one away. If you could kindly pop the amazing glaze back in that one for me what I'm here for. So I'm getting ready with my stamp. So I'm right-handed, so I'm going to have the stamp on my right side and the ink pad. Now, when you do this, you must ink your stamp. Okay. Because if you don't, you can end up with a big mess. And rubber stamps work. Clear stamps, talk to the manufacturer because they're made differently. We okay. We cook these at 320 degrees Fahrenheit. So they work in a little bit of molten powder. Oh, so you make all the little stamps as well? Yes. Oh. Yes. We do. So my stamp is inked, ready to go. I'm going to melt this. And then we're going to whack it in. Here, here we go. <laughs> yeah, we, it's just the two of us. Ah. With the occasional helpers. So you do all, you make all the samples, pack every box? We don't make all the samples, we have a design team. Nice. So Hello and they've, design team. they've made lots of things for us this time, which is it's always helpful because we were busy teaching all weekend. So. You're, busy. you're busy little you're a busy little company, aren't you? Well yeah. Yeah, we are. We try to be. I'd say it's I mean twenty eight years of building, but staying small. We want to keep kind of well, that's the thing, because you've got all that experience as well. You've yeah. already made the mistakes. And yeah, well, like you having stuff. <laughs> yeah, no, but I mean, like, especially when it comes to the crafting world, especially because you manufacture the stamps as well. Yeah. You've made the stamps, you made the stamps, so you know, you've made the mistakes, so you know where to adapt, you know where to change things, you know how to get the best out of the stamp that it was. Yeah. That's, that's what I like about, the, especially these little companies as well, because you do everything, you know, you've made the mistakes so people at home don't have to. Yes, that's it, and we'll tell them when we've done it wrong. Don't do it that way, because when I did it, it did this. <laughs> that's good, though. Like so, put it in, firm pressure, and then we let it cool down for a second. While we're cooling, uh, the Safari stamp, 80% now. 80 I forgot I was on the telly for a minute. I was just <laughs> chewing shouting. I literally forgot, and I shout. I do that a lot. Um, £11, 80% of the stock. £11.99, 80% uh, of the stock now has already gone. 093650 is your item number. Sorry if I scared you then. I scared myself. <laughs> I forgot where I was. I thought, oh, I better work. They were concentrating. And they were. I was so engrossed. OK, so now I'm going to peel it off. And this is where the ink does its work, because had I not inked it, might not oh have word. peeled off. So, and I'm going to pop that on there. 
Absolutely. But when you said ingot, I thought you'd get the black residue inside the gold, but you don't. Well, there, you well, just there is, in. but it's not as black as... Oh, look at that. But it does have detail on it. I don't know if you can see oh it. Oh, my word. And you can feel it. It's, it's cooled down enough that you can stroke it. <laughs> Gently. <laughs> well. So because it's on a twinchy, it's not going to bend and crack. I love you, Pat. You can come. Back. Can you come more than once a month? Uh, you've got seven minutes left. Okay, not really going to get a chance for the next one, but tough, are we? So that's that we one. like. So there's that. So there's that's. I like that's that kind one. of like intaglio shrink when you shrink things and stamp into it. It's intaglio style. So we're creating the amazing glaze and then stamping into it, which is beautiful. It's absolutely. So look at that. Three different, three different varieties. Absolutely love those. Right then. Go. So I'm going to make uh, as close to that as I can in the time we have left. Let's see what we've got left. You can do this. You've got, how long we got? Mm -hmm. You've got six minutes. Okay. Right. I have faith. Wonderful. So <laughs> I'm going to use the flourished frame. I've pre-cut and pre-inked my card because we like to be prepared. Always, it's always best to be prepared. We never know how long the presenter's going to talk. <laughs> so. Not a little dig. <laughs> <laughs> I've been good today, I'll have you have know. Have you? Yes, this, this is, is me. Because we've never met before, this is me on good form. Uh, okay. <laughs> you wait. You wait till next time. I'm just going to talk. No, I don't do that much talking. I like to watch the demos, like the people at home. You're learning. I'm just a big viewer. That's all I really am. In with that one, make sure that's all nicely black. Okay, I have, as you can see on here, a mask. This is from the 10 foot, 10 meters <laughs> yes. of mask. So I've cut out the inside of the frame, which is called a reverse mask. So I'm gonna pop that in there. And I'm gonna stamp Gabby inside the frame but she's bigger than the frame she's one of the few things in the show that's bigger than the frame but i like that though because you could have a popping out of the well you'll see in a minute you could have a popping out of the frame if you wanted to well this is kind of like a window outside to looking out in yes. savannah so we're having a tree house <laughs> 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 i'm not gonna say a word <laughs> <laughs> what are we all doing no. oh dear Good to giggle, giggles are free. <sighs> Not much is free these days. <laughs> At least you can get a giggle, can't get anything else. <laughs> yeah, well that's true. So I also true. have a mask of Gabby. In so all fairness, this is where this, oh, this, this roll in. comes into its own. 10 metres, and look how many masks you've made already. So we made a mask of the first stamp that we saw, like the postage stamp of the frame. Uh, now you've made one of Gabby, you've made one, you've made a large one to go around the complete card so you don't get anything around the card as well. It's well worth picking up if you can, 19 pounds and 99 pence. You're getting 10 metres on a roll is what you're getting as well. Um, worth, worth having a little look. And you can tell by the colours on them that I've used them already. I've inked on them a few, stamped on them a few times inked them so obviously there's sky behind gabby just a blue sky a little blue sky a little blue sky it's always nice to see a little blue sky so when are you back when are we back do we know the day? yes it's actually my daughter's 18th birthday sunday the 19th of april the 19th of april oh the day before my wedding anniversary oh how many years one oh i know oh first is paper. it paper? <gasps> you can yeah. bring me a card, just say. Thank you. <laughs> Little Gabby giraffe. <laughs> Leave it blank on the inside though and I'll write it and I can hand it over the oh, next day. Oh, of course, you know, yeah. <laughs> Pretend you made it. Well, you know me so well in this 57 <laughs> minutes. <laughs> so you can see we now have Gabby outside. Look at that. In nature. And we're inside looking through a lovely picture frame window. And I will colour that in, but before I colour that, I want to stamp. Now, you won't know this. Purple is my favourite colour. Oh, okay. Most other people watching will know this. Because it's usually pretty evident in all my cards. 
So I'm going to stamp. No, I knew. I did know that. It was in the log they give me in the folder of the guests before we <laughs> come, before I walk into the studio. It's all top secret. It's just handed to you a little brown folder, shuffled across the desk. Uh -huh. you might want to read this. Adam. Yeah. Yeah. Be warned about me, these give me two. the lowdown about you. Yeah. yeah I'm sure. <laughs> I am going to stamp this in purple. Purple's your favourite colour. Yes. So do you like the hazelnuts in them well-known chocolates box? Purple wrappers? No. No? Okay. I prefer my chocolate pure and unfiltered. Oh! And Swiss. <laughs> <laughs> uh, come in, Vicky, my love. Come on in, come on in. We'll all gather and watch. Put her under pressure. <laughs> yeah. See, what I do, probably, is colour the frame like I did one. So it would coordinate with the border, as opposed to that rough border. But the echoing what we're looking for. <laughs> That's into war. We're heading towards. Yeah. Uh, running <laughs> rapidly shorter, a minute and a half. Um, Vicky, why, why we will st still watch you um, craft, but for those people that are sitting, maybe sitting on the fence, maybe for the Savannah set, for the zebras and that, that long set, it is such a set. What would you say to people sitting there and going, do I need a Savannah? Will I use it every day? What would you say to them? It's, a, it's not specific to women or anything. It's very men and we all it's juggle. Sure. Everyone likes some wildlife. I think they're good cards for everyone, really. No, it is a set and it is and there's so much you can do. Like, cards like these. They're absolutely beautiful, you can use, and you don't need, you don't need to go all out in a lab, there's the snap all the way you really. Yeah, lots of detail in them already, so yeah, you can add a little touches of colour here and there is really enough sometimes. It really, and then, you've got the English Country Garden on there as well. Uh, how, how are we getting on? Bit of purple. Yeah, there's no way I'm going to finish it, I have to say. Well, you've got 30 <laughs> seconds. Yeah, it's not going to happen. <laughs> is there any still? Did you get everything? No, we got through everything. Well done. We did everything. Yay! Oh, you know me. No, not no. yet. But <laughs> don't, don't mess around. Well, thank you, ladies. I've had an absolute blast. Thank it you. Been absolute fun. ball. It's been an, I, I will know next time. Stay clear. But, <laughs> hi, Birdie Dick. Don't you go to so much up for. Um, if you have questions, find you on social. Yeah, yeah, look everywhere. Everywhere. They're everywhere. You know who they are better than me. I'll see you in a minute.